but the record button. Okay, now the record button. Ah, now the recording button's working. So I haven't played this since like July. Okay, now those were those were the those were the beneficial drones. It's gonna take me a little bit to remember how to how to play. To be totally honest, now you can't wall jump in this yet, can you? No. But I can high jump. Yeah, I I remember how to play. Clearly. Health node. Hey, I'll take that. Oh, gladly take uh, extra health ups. So I was looking into... Nope. I was looking into... Uh, nope. No. I was, I was looking into uh, info about this game. And uh, apparently there's secret weapons that I didn't know about. Uh, kind of wish I did know about them. Because apparently the secret weapons are pretty rad. And, uh, I only have access to... You only get access to one of them randomly... Uh, randomly based on what your save file is. And... That's actually really cool. Uh, I have no idea exactly how I'm going to work with that. Sorry, platforming is hard. Oh, these are violent. No, they're not violent. They're just harmful. Okay. So don't don't touch the wiggle grass. The wiggle grass is is bad. Oh, I forgot. I forgot how bad some of the sound the sound effects are in this game. I mean, they're not terrible, but it's like I, ear pain. A little bit of ear pain. Yeah. So what? Uh. Uh, so what... What secret weapon do I get access to? I get access to the middle one. Uh, this is, this is save slot number two. And apparently I get access to the scissor beam. Which actually sucks, because I think the scissor beam is supposed to be the weakest of them, or the worst, or... It's supposed to be okay. Uh, unfortunately I don't even know where to find the scissor beam. It's supposedly... Keep an eye out for scan lines and, like, weird visual defects. I'll have to go looking for it later. I, I found a guide on kind of how to get it, but I don't actually know how to get it. Yeah, I can't get anything on that. Wait, that's that's how I get the, the little drone. And it's got that, and I thought it... It's got an explode self button. I thought it also had a... I thought it also had a drill. Probably does, I don't know. Wander, try grapple. Nope, doesn't look like it can grapple onto the weird floating floating weird mecha head thing. The visual designs on this game game are such a trip. I actually really dig them, but like, whew. They're weird. Oh. I can get up here. And that's about as far as I go. Well, guess we'll come back later. There's got to be something else I can do. There's apparently also cheat codes for this game, so I could turn on uh, low gravity if I ever really, really wanted to mess around. I'll only do that in a uh, last resort. I wonder how, how much you could break the game if you had, uh, if you had low gravity uh, from the start. Nope, that didn't work. Probably pretty bad. I, I'm curious about how that would go. Right. I forgot how to... Damn it. I also hate the weapon switching system in this game. Hmm. I guess let's just leave that critter alone. No reason to try and uh, kill it if it's actually just going to do more harm to me. Than I am to it. Now, do we have a means of killing these plants? Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. They are harmful. I'm just gonna take it so we can get whatever this is. We can just go back to the save station to heal anyway. And can't read it even if I wanted to. Well, I, I guess that makes life easier. Let's see. Oh, glitch gun. You know, I forget, I forget that I have a glitch gun. It doesn't look like it works on the plants.
Yeah, so I can I can kill the bugs. But glitching them doesn't really do much, and I, I can't glitch the plants, even if I wanted to. So I guess we'll just do it later. Uh I guess I'm just gonna go back down. We'll we'll see what we got around here. I again I only vaguely remember my way around here. It has been two and a half months since I last played. Which is uh is bad. I, I wish I had uh I had had the time to commit to this more. But as usual, my my life is Oh, that's... that's how this works. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do with that. I still don't know how to get down. It looks like you can... you can somehow break that floor or dig down through it. I don't think she... I don't think we can actually do anything with her. Weird, squidly face that she is. Let's see, this reminds you of the old Alien games as far as visuals go. Yeah, uh, very much inspired by H.R. Geiger. There's, there's no way it's not. Which, like, I can appreciate. I like H.R. Geiger's work. It's creepy. But, quality. Nope. Yeah, so I guess we just want to go back the way we came. Kind of roundabout little route over here, but I I can't see any other easy means of like getting through this. Even if I even if I wanted to. If I seem a little bit subdued today, I've been moving my sleep schedule up a little bit. Uh so instead of going to bed at like five, I've been going to bed at like two or three. And it's not exactly the easiest. I think I'm also like really low-key sick. I don't exactly know what the deal is, but I've just been having, uh... I've just been very congested lately, and it's weird. Because it's like, I'm not sick, I don't feel sick. Oh. Well. This is just weird. S yeah, speaking of weird, those things. Now, we're effectively just going back through everywhere we had been before. I don't... I don't know what... glitching these guys out is going to do. I... I don't know. Okay. Well, I can kill him. I don't I don't really know why I need to kill him. I gu I guess I never needed to kill them to begin with. Uh You know, let's Let's see. Is the hippo atomizer good enough? Yeah, there we go. I guess any of the uh the shooty guns would would have been good enough for this one. Okay. Now there's a door over on the left. Now, I don't have the ability to go through walls yet, do I? Because I don't have, like, a dash action or anything like that, so I'm... I'm pretty much, like... Right? I don't... I don't remember if I got any new abilities. Can I check my inventory? Let's take a look at things. Okay. Field Disruptor. So, that's jumping ability. Lab Coat. Double pit, tap and hold. Well, pressing against a wall to teleport across. Ah! So I can teleport across one thing, gaps. Yeah, I have the lab coat. I forgot about it, but it only works in the reverse, as far as that section goes. Bioflux Accelerator. Mutation at max health. Drone launch. Laser drill. Remote drone. Address disruptor. So that's that's just the hack gun. And grapple. Okay, so I, I could... I can warp through walls, but I can't warp through that wall. Yeah, so it really does look like there's not much of a um, reason to stick around this specific area. I suck at combat in this game. I... I don't know. I've never been good at it. 
So this is another one of those situations where it'd be I could reach it. Yeah, if I could I could I could warp through there if I could actually reach up. Maybe we can maybe we can do that actually. I have no idea what turning this guy into a missing node does. Uh, there we go. I think there's also a button I can press that actually locks my... That also locks the, uh, the direction I, I shoot in. Oh, I see. Turning him into a missing node makes his hitbox bigger. Well, that's convenient. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? No. Not that one. Ah. This is the one that locks my movement. I thought there was one that would actually lock which uh, direction I'm shooting in as well. Okay, we do have something new, though. Probably not going to be able to get through it like that. Oh. 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 Hey guys, we've got a secret area. There it is. There it is. Trace, turn back. This place is artifact. Like some kind of dimensional rift? What if there's something I need in here? No, it is dangerous. Flotsam, jetsam, caused by breach. Is there radiation or something in here? Well, that's not exactly reassuring. Okay, so this is actually one of the secret areas I was talking about. Uh... So effectively, what this is, is a, is a breach. And... One of these, there's five of them. There's five of them per save file. And, uh, each one of them has, like, goodies in it, though I'm not actually sure what the goodies are. Uh, oh. I'm not exactly sure what the goodies are, uh, but one of them is going to have a weapon in it, eventually. So we're going to have to figure out how to, how to trigger that. Ah! Well, I... Can't really do too much about that. Nope, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so so hitting this guy with the hack gun makes his hitbox much larger. Actually pretty helpful. And that just made him disappear. Alright. Come on. Act your way through. You know you can do it. I can just I can just destroy these guys. Oh, that's better. Can I get a little bit more than that? I'd like to get the rest, but I don't think it can do it. Nope. That didn't work. Uh There's gotta be there's gotta be a means of getting up and through here. Hmm. I might not be able to get through here. Let's see. Wonder why didn't she glitch through the wall with the item behind it? Couldn't actually. Couldn't actually make it there. Uh. I don't. Oh, we can go down. I totally missed that. Oh, gotta gotta switch. Come on, give me more health juices. No. Uh, fine. All right. Can we, can we not? Yeah, are any of these drillable? Are any of these hackable? Because we, it's a darn shame if I actually, uh, found one of my first, uh, secret worlds and couldn't actually, uh, you know, do anything with it. 
Unless it, this, is, of course, is... Nope. It doesn't look like my drone fits in here. Dang. So, yeah, we need we need some kind of special power uh, to be able to actually get through here. Because I'm fairly certain I'm not going to get my drone up anywhere else. Shoot up with the drone. Nope. It doesn't look like it goes up there. But no, the secret worlds aren't necessarily for when you beat the game, but it looks like I need, like, I think one of the better... Uh, yeah, I need I need one of the better lab coat upgrades. I do get uh, a little bit of health, though. I'll take that. But yeah, it looks, looks like we're going to need the better lab coat before I can do anything with this. But yeah, so if you guys ever see a, a uh, static when I'm going through an area... That means I'm actually close to one of these secret, uh, secret walls that I can, uh, open up and, and get into this. Which is really cool. I had no idea. I mean, this game is pretty far from, uh, clear with its mechanics. It, it very much is, like... Oh. Here's cool shit. You'll never find it. Okay, did I, did I actually try going up? No, I never actually bothered going up. Because I was, I was too busy finding that secret world to work with. How do you want us to notify you of secret walls? Sell you the room shape? No, just, uh, if I don't... Oh. Oh, come on. Really? Maybe? Double tap to teleport in any direction. Well, there's our answer. I needed the lab code upgrade. I got the lab code upgrade. I just got to remember that I have it. I mean, it's convenient. Means I can actually get into a couple of areas that I could get to before. I'm taking a lot of damage where I don't need to be taking damage, but still. It's more like a dash than a teleport. It's a bit of both. Suffice to say, though, I can get in here now. Okay. Let's see, can I... Can I hit him with this? I think I'm hitting him. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting him. Tough sucker. I guess I'm not hitting him enough. Okay, there we go. Nope, that's not gonna work. Uh... There we go. That, that was, that was tight spaces. And those wiggle plants are not actually as, uh, dangerous as I, as I banked on them being. Ah. Leave me alone, roly-poly-bolly creature. Thank you. Alright, so what do we got over here? Kind of lasts forever. I was really expecting these would be, uh... This would be shorter. Uh, can I... Get both of them? Perfect. Uh... Is there anything over here? Looks like that's that's purely just purely just visual noise, random space. I mean, so uh, I, I was looking up the history of this when I when I learned about them. I was like, okay, this is cool. Why did he do this? Uh, so apparently, the reason why uh, the developer put this in is um, uh, the reason why he put this in is because he really liked the idea of those uh, you know those secret worlds in uh, Metroid. And uh, Mario that you get into, purely by accident. Um, the weird glitchy secret worlds that happen to be the bre bread and butter of a lot of speedruns. Um, apparently he really likes the idea of those 
And so he put he put them in intentionally as a He put them in intentionally as a uh as just a, a design choice. Which I think is actually really cool. And back to this. Okay, uh let's see. So one thing I wanna do. Okay, so that more or less switches me between three different weapon types. Can I hit them this way? Not really. Oops. I'm trying not to get hit too much, but the controls in this game are... I, I always hated the fact that Mega Man couldn't shoot up, but now that I'm older, I totally understand why Mega Man can't shoot up. It was weird. The secret worlds uh, that are in Mario and Super Metroid are just code mani uh, made manifest, right? Yeah. And so uh, the developer thought that was a neat idea, and so he wanted to make that as a thing. And I think that's I think that's really cool. Like these kind of weird like Easter eggy bits uh, that actually have like a you know a, a gameplay uh, benefit for doing it. Oh, it is. Weird looking and unsettling to walk through, though. And. Interesting. Yeah, it's starting to loop back on itself. It already repeated, too. Oh, the plants are hurting me. Ow. Okay. Luckily, the enemies are kind enough to give me some HP here. Ow. Unfortunately, I think it can kind of shoot out of wherever it wants on its sprite. This is not convenient. Okay. Okay, I'm safe right there. And we're back up to full health. So yeah, even if I'm, uh... Gar Harblidge at this game, it really is quite friendly with all the health drops. Which I really appreciate. Okay, there we go. There's a thing. What is this? I think that's a size node. So projectile size for weapon has been increased. Cool. Ah, uh, let's see. What else do we have here? We've got one more section to go through, and then hopefully we can just kind of waltz back through this. I don't know what triggers enemies to respawn. I always liked, uh... I always liked it in uh, stuff like Hollow Knight and Dark Souls and whatnot, where... Where, uh... Enemies would only respawn when you'd actually, uh, when you actually, like, went back to the bonfire. Uh, I find systems where the enemies just have, like, arbitrary respawn rules to be unfortunate. Yep. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those things hurt a little. Not too much. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, how are you doing, Wander? Eh, sleepy. It's like a weird sleepy Tuesday afternoon for us. Is it Tuesday or Monday? What day is today? I today's Tuesday, yeah? I, I think I think it is. Crap. I've lost all sense of time. Oh. I've lost all sense of time in my life. It it's like is there anything important going on today? I mean, we might do multiplayer. That's it. That That's all I really know. Otherwise, my entire life is determined entirely by uh, video game release dates. Which is... <laughs> wild. Uh... Okay. If I can kill this guy without getting shot. Yep. Now the question is, oh, there was a door over here. So yeah, we're we're just going on a on a big endless and useless loop. 
It is Tuesday. Okay. It's not the worst thing to have your life determined by. No, it's not, but it's like, it's, it's just weird. Okay, so there's, there's more to this. I was honestly expecting that it would just kind of loop back on itself and then we'd leave. Ah! Gotta get used to that teleportation thing. I'm going to be sending myself flying into enemies a, just a couple of times here. Especially because I tend to make, like, minor adjustments. Uh, by, like, tapping the stick repeatedly. And so the teleportation system is going to throw me off uh, more than a little. Alright, so there was actually a, a second thing in here. Health upgrade or damage upgrade? I don't remember. Elf node fragment. Nah. Not very good. Okay. Now, admittedly, it's really hard to tell with the scan lines, but I think we've cleared this place out. I'm gonna hope we have. Because otherwise... Oh. Wait. Nope. How do I leave? Um... Uh... This is... Concerning? Did Wander softlock? Maybe? This... Teleport and jump. It, but it's not. It's not taking. <sighs> um. Unless no, that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> really? I mean, we know where it is. We can always come back with a, a super jump. I don't want to. I mean, we just spent the past ten minutes in here. I mean teleport first and then jump. You can't you can't do that. That you have to you have to jump then teleport. Unless uh you guys can jump off of empty air. Yeah, I don't have a double jump yet. I don't have a way out of here. Uh the only other thing I could think of is if I Died. Yeah, you need the final lap code upgrade. That's real stupid. It's like, hey, you can get in here without the the final lap code upgrade, but uh, can't get out. I, I, I've been. I wouldn't exactly say I've been having a bad day, but I was recording a ground before this. Which, like, I don't mind that game that much, but it was a, a combination of being repeatedly stunlocked by enemies. That's it. I don't think you do. The teleport jump thing does work. You just have to be holding up when you come out of the teleport at just the right instant. Well... I mean, the thing is, to teleport, you have to... To teleport, you have to be holding up to begin with. So... Yeah, what I should have done was just left one of those creatures there to kill me, because I would have still kept all the, uh, the upgrades, I believe. But yeah, so I was playing a ground, and... 
Okay, you know what? I know I do I do know what I can do. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can do something. We can reset, but I wanna check check to see if I could do something. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could, um... Oh, here we go. When you enter one of these codes in the passcode tool, oh, this is annoying. Yeah, so I would, I would, uh, I have a, I have a cheat code thing that I can put in that sets the gravity to very low. Uh, let me, let me check, cause I, I'm, a, I. I'm actually kind of pissed that that I managed to make it in here. Um, and it's it's effectively soft locked me because I don't have the final upgrade. Like normally what you do is you you lock it first so that you can't uh, you can't get in unless you have all the upgrades to complete it. And I can't do frame perfect anything. Uh, cuz I I don't have the reflexes for that or the hand skill or I don't even know. Anyway, I want to see if I can get a, uh... I, I want to see if I can get some help here. Oh, I have to actually have the game open. In this... Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is a goofy. This is goofy. Um, so I gotta remember some of these. Use gamepad instead of the joystick. Uh, I mean, I could. All of those are still going to be real uncomfortable. I'm just gonna... Oh. Fast, normal, or moonwalk. Or no gravity. Let's try moonwalk. Wee. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get out of here with moon gravity. I didn't say I wanted moon gravity. Uh, anyway, uh, I apologize if this upsets anybody's sensibilities by uh, turning on moon gravity to get out of here. But I mean, like, I got in here. Come on, close enough. Um, anyway, we can also turn off gravity, which I'm I'm really not sure what that's gonna do. Uh, so I'm not gonna do it. But we do have uh, we do have a lot of alternatives if we want to. So, apparently, uh, somebody compiled one hell of a cheat engine. Um... One hell of a... Uh, one hell of a cheat engine table, where, uh, I'm gonna just read some of these off. So you can change your hit points, max hit points, hallucination amount, that's interesting, glitch bombs, you know, a bunch of different, different nodes, minimum, uh, number of size nodes. Remind me when we're done with this series. I would very much love to just, uh, you know, crank these up to, like, extreme maximum and see if there's, like, a limit. Uh, can I reverse gravity? Um. I don't think so. I, I can turn it off. No, I might be able to reverse gravity, but I really don't know what that's going to do. Let's let's make it back to a, a save shrine before I, I do too much with that. Uh, because, you know, obviously that, that would be bad. Um. But anyway, so, I can change size, range, health nodes, act effective health nodes, damage resistance, jump velocity. Oh, so I can actually, uh, change, change it so, um, I don't decelerate. When I, uh, I don't decelerate when I, as, as I go up with my jump. Most of this I'm not going to mess with for obvious reasons. 
as it would actually kind of ruin the game for me and everybody else. Uh, at least I won't mess with it immediately. Because it, it seems like one of those where it's like, these would be really fun to mess with, but I think I would tire of them and it would, or it would just break like the balance of the game. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to leave the low gravity thing on until we're out of here. So honestly, the low gravity actually feels real good. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we get like better jump height boosters later. But this is fine. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so jump gravity, jump release gravity, uh, drone manipulation. I don't even know what that is. And that's like half. There's, there's a bunch of other like weird things I haven't even looked up on this, this table. But the idea of being able to just, uh, destroy gravity is amusing to me. Okay, so now I can get in here and grab this, whatever this is. Power node fragment. Per oh, wow. They really do just piecemeal these things to you. Oh, well. Okay, so near save shrine is actually quite a ways away. I'm gonna reset gravity back to normal. Uh, I think it's on normal now. Uh, and I'm gonna just, uh, turn off the cheat table. Because, I, honestly, I don't actually really want to spend a whole lot of time cheating here, period. I just, you know, I don't like being soft-locked, ever. You know, if I, if it's like a, a small thing or a, a quick redo, I don't mind. In that case, it just felt like a, it just felt like uh, the game is cheating me out of my hard-earned rewards. Okay. There we go. I can get in here now. I can go places that I couldn't get to. Ah, 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 bees, 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 bees. Uh, let's see, can I, can I hacks it? Oh, oh. That just gave a health node? Ah! Bees! Gotta hax it first. Oh. Uh. There we go. Got the journal. Perfect. The Breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a forced relinking of the Lattice's underlying adjacent universes. The Breach Attractor, then, has some capacity to shift the points which the lattices link. The region beyond the breach remains intact, as when the breach recedes, the atmosphere and surrounding oceans don't encounter a vacuum in its absence. Though there is a strong disturbance in the currents once again, or once the two sides meet again. Outside of a breach elevator, passing through the breach can be fatal. The Sudrans use this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders, or, as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on their writings, it seems like the Sudrans have long ago lost a scientific understanding of what the breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorological phenomena rather than a divider between worlds. A7 hypothesized that the breach itself is invisible, and the effect we see in the sky is, in fact, a protective field of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Neat! when you see the game he's playing and think this game is probably older than me i think this game's only what six years old so i mean hello hello babby man uh yeah this game isn't actually that old it just looks old uh but there's nothing there's nothing necessarily wrong with uh you know super retro style games i still th feel like the controls are kind of awkward i it'd be kind of eh, i don't know It'd be interesting to go back and play some of the old, like, side-scrolling Metroids and see... Uh... See how they felt. It is, like, a contrast. Obviously, I'm not gonna have time for that, even if I wish. But, uh... Oh. Okay, so we, we might be able to go up to the left. There's a couple of things all the way back at, at top that I might be able to grab, too. We'll do backtracking later, and honestly, now that I have the super low gravity, I might do backtracking uh, towards the end with super low gravity turned on just for ease of ease of traversal.
Okay. And yeah, we haven't actually tried going up yet. Well, this is going to be tough. Right. I already hacked him up. Uh, let's see. There we go. Anything up here? 